Hi Extension, this is Allison Link and I'm going to show you quickly how to request a Moodle course site. I'm filming this video in September of 2014, so depending on when you're watching the video and what version of Moodle the university is currently on, the site or the layout might look a little different from what you're seeing, um, but the basic principle should still hold. So to request a Moodle site, head to moodle.umn.edu and you'll end up on a page that looks a lot like this. It'll promptly, prompt you to um, log in. I've already logged in in my browser here. But once you've logged in, you'll see your Moodle main page. And just head over to this block labeled Help and Support and choose the last link on here, Request a New Course Site, or a link labeled something like Request a New Course Site. Here you'll see that you get to choose between two different course site types. And since extension doesn't um, need to use the university registration system that we use for academic year courses, you can actually select the second site type. So the first site type you do not need to worry about. You do not need to link your course to the academic year registration system. You want to choose a course site using manual enrollment. So once you've chosen that, you'll um, see a form here. Just fill out a couple pieces of information and you can submit the request for your site. Give your site a title. and give your site a short title. And the short title, um, do not include any spaces or anything in that. And this is what's going to be used for the navigational breadcrumbs. They look kind of like this when you're actually in Moodle. Uh, and so just choose something that uh, your participants will recognize as being kind of the main title of your course, but short version of that. And for primary Moodle category, select U of M extension. And for the secondary Moodle category, select non-credit. You only have one option there. And your role in the course site, go ahead and give yourself the role of instructor. In here, uh, in these boxes, is where you can add any additional instructors. So if you've got someone helping you out and you want to have them be able to edit the course site, uh, go ahead and put them, their internet IDs here. And if you want them to get an email with updates about when the site is approved and the fact that you've requested the site, you can check that box there. Now don't worry if you don't remember everyone at this point. If you need to go back and add an instructor later, that's not a problem. You can add them once you're, you're actually in your course site and editing your course site. So this is just for the preliminary request, but you can always add people later. If you need to add multiple people, you can also add another person here. Now if you're requesting a new site, you're basically finished and you can hit submit here. But if you are actually requesting a site that is a copy of a previous Moodle site, so let's say you had a Moodle site uh, last year and you want to copy it into the current academic year version of Moodle so you can use it this year, then you're going to need to pay attention to this box here. So only put something in this box if you want to copy information from a past Moodle site into a new Moodle site and use that. So let's say you taught a course before. Um, you just need to pull up that Moodle site and go to that site's main page, copy the URL from that site, and then in this course request form, go ahead and paste that in there. All right, so you're just copying the URL from your previous site's main page and putting it into this box, and that will copy all of the content from that past site into the, your new site that you're requesting. Other than that, uh, once you're done, you can go ahead and hit submit. You'll need to wait a couple days for your request to process, and once it's processed, you'll get an email from Moodle uh, indicating that your site is ready and you can go ahead and start editing it. So you'll get a confirmation email right away and wait a couple more days for a second email indicating that you can go into your site and start editing it. That's all you have to do to request a site. Good luck, happy Moodling!